You know, it's kind of interesting that we're talking about this this kind of stuff because it feels like this photosynthesis thing I'm, we're going to talk about right now, it's kind of like maybe we can marry the two things. All right, let's 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 check it out. First off, I'm just going to remind everybody what photosynthesis is, if you're not really sure. Uh, photosynthesis is the process used by plants, algae, and certain bacteria to harness energy from sunlight and turn it into chemical energy. Here we describe uh, the principles of photosynthesis. Uh, let's see. So there's two types. There's oxygenetic uh, photosynthesis and an anoxygenic. Great word. Is that how you say it? Yeah, photosynthesis? Italian, so. All right. The general principles of anoxygenic and oxygenic photosynthesis are very similar, but oxygenic uh, photosynthesis is the most common, as is seen in plants, algae, and cyanobacteria. During oxygen uh, uh, photosynthesis, light energy transfers electrons from water, H2O, to carbon, CO2, to produce carbohydrates. In this transfer, the CO2 is reduced or receives electrons and the water becomes oxidized or loses electrons. Ultimately, oxygen is produced along with carbohydrates. So I just wanted to get like a gen we don't need to go much further than that. This is a long article about getting into the nitty gritty of photosynthesis, but I just kind of wanted to say that really quick before I read this next article. Now this is a major step towards artificial photosynthesis. Uh, as device produces clean energy like plants, scientists claim. So let's let's talk about it. Um, as a new new uh, excuse me, as a new device can produce carbon neutral fuel, marks a major breakthrough in one of the artificial or on the way to artificial photosynthesis, according to the scientists who created it. The standalone device can convert sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water into clean energy, doing so wirelessly. And without any outside electricity, the Cambridge researchers who built it say. They hope that it can be a step towards using artificial devices to mimic photosynthesis, converting sunlight into energy in the same way plants do. Quote, it's been difficult to achieve artificial photosynthesis with a high degree of selectivity, so that you're converting as much of the sunlight as possible into the fuel you want, rather than be left with a lot of waste. End quote. Uh, said author Dr. Quinn. Uh, Wang from Cambridge's Department of Chemistry in a statement. The new device does so using a photo sheet technology. Out of it comes oxygen and formic acid, which can either be stored as a fuel or converted into hydrogen to provide clean energy. Quote, we want to get to the point where we can cleanly produce a liquid fuel that can also easily be stored and transported. Uh, this said Erwin Reisner, the paper's senior author. The test created, or the test device created as part of the research is only 20 square centimeters, but the researchers say it could be relatively easy to scale up uh, up to as many of square meters, allowing them to potentially be used in farms similar to large fields of solar panels that are used to produce clean energy. Previously, some researchers had developed an artificial leaf that produced a fuel called sign gas, but they ran into problems because the device required a range of different components making it harder to scale up, and the fuel it produced was harder to work with. That is, so, well, you know, it's almost over. I'll just read the rest of it. The new device is easier to, to make and stays relatively stable. The researchers stay, uh, say, as well as producing a more reliable fuel and doing so in a more efficient way. But more work is required to make its production more efficient so that it could be it could be produced that it could be produced I think it's a typo yeah in larger quantities the researchers continued uh, we hope this technology will pave the way towards sustainable and practical solar fuel production says professor reisner an article describing the discovery molecular engineering uh, photo catalyst sheet for scalable solar formate production from carbon dioxide and water all right so that was a, a mouthful Sorry, I was I stumbled through that a little bit, but I made it through. That was awesome. I made it through, but really, what it is is that's so cool. So we're we're basically figuring out what plants do, and we've been trying to do this for a long time because what they do is they make food from sunlight. So we've been able to make energy from sunlight, solar panels, and all that, but we haven't been able to convert it to carbohydrates, which is what plants do. So this is saying they ha not only can turn it into plant uh, into energy, they're turning it into a liquid fuel. 
So think about what that means. Space travel. My first first initial thought, space travel. That means we can convert sunlight into a liquid fuel. Now marry it with what we were just talking about, about 3D printing molecules. If we're able to use sunlight to create a fuel that potentially could be used as a printing material, like maybe we can maybe we can turn the sun into printing material. And you wouldn't need batteries. Right, exactly. It bypasses the need for batteries. So mm-hmm. that that that's amazing. I know. It's so exciting to think about. I mean, scientists have tried tried to figure out photosynth- artificial photosynthesis for years now. And I've been I've been kind of seeing it like they they've been attempting to do it, but this feels like they are on the right path to actually doing it. Like they have a device that seems to be working in a more stable and much more reliable way that they can actually scale it up to a significant, um, you know, device, I guess, in the future. It's going to be really exciting. So this I, is, I'm pretty excited about it. I didn't see, it. is this oxygenic or anoxygenic? Did they specify um, what environment they were working in? They didn't specify as I read through this. Um, this but is I, incredible. I, I guess I'm not really sure on this that. This is from three days ago. This is from three days ago. So this is, you know, a new thing. This is pretty cool. Wow. So Dude, I'm really excited to about To think it. that the real solar panel is photosynthesis. Yeah. Obviously, we don't need to mine. Well, we might still need to mine silicon. I don't know if we need yeah. to mine all these these rare earth minerals and all that slavery that's used for mining the solar panel materials. That's Good been a point. big part of the solar industry's um, well, corruption, you could say. Is I mean, they, if you think about what we were just talking about that you brought up with the 3D printing molecules... Why wouldn't we be able to create silicon, 3D print it, 3D print our everything we need? You know, I, I yeah, silicon sim- is is not it. carbon, right? Correct. It's actually a, a different yeah. material. So that that would probably be the tough part trying to figure that out because that's really once we break that, if we can print any sort of molecule and build it. You know, right. to be like silicon's an atom. Uh, it's okay. two non chemists here, by the way. And ca- carbon's an atom. Fair warning. It's a type of atom. We have no idea what we're talking about. Um, or rather, I have no idea yeah, what I'm talking about. I have about. about a two to seven percent idea of what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think silicon's on the periodic table. I wish uh, I had a periodic table behind us. That'd right. Be nice it, to it would definitely help. Especially us for out. this conversation. <laughs> Once they can start printing atoms themselves and we can just print mm-hmm. pure silicon or pure carbon, I mean, that's that's next level. And it, it, honestly, here goes the conspiracy theories. Oh, I wouldn't be baby. surprised if some government agency has been working on it. Oh yeah, because it's such an uh, like a Star Trek thing. You know, That's we have true. our phones now. I know our telecommunicators. You're right. Um, the replicator is on everybody's mind. I'm sure. Wow. You know, molecular. Yeah, yeah. That's true. I'm I'm excited. Oh, me too. We, you know the the technology has has just been ramping up over the years. It's crazy that as as the technology is getting better and better and like. Super high VGA, you know, graphic, incredible VR yep. and, and tech, you know, quantum teleportation and things. But at the same time, like four level four hurricanes, the second largest hurricane to ever be recorded, smashing into the U.S. shore. Yeah, that's yesterday. crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's terrifying. So it's like all of it's coming to a head at once. These yeah, gi- the United States is, is rectifying. It's like having a second revolution kind within of. itself or like a second civil war almost. It feels almost. like it feels like it, but it's it's I, I don't think that's the case. It, I, it hasn't it does been feel, declared. It does feel like that. Though. It's like a guerrilla war. That. Yeah. Like it's not going to be a north versus south thing. It's going to be people in their houses. If yeah. there is a one, it's not. It's just like the Vietnam War wasn't like yeah, uh, yeah. it's conventional war is gone. Now. Yeah.